Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we have a really interesting video. This is actually going to be the software that was supposed to be on the Surface Duo 1 when it was first created. So this bad boy right here that got delayed so many times, this is actually the software that is running on a Lumia 950 that was actually supposed to be the Surface Duo 1 actual uh, software before it got shipped out with Android, right? Obviously, I said this many times in videos that this was a Windows based device and then it got shipped out with window with uh, Android. So starting off right away, this is coming in from Sir of MS Power User and the video was actually coming in from Windows Central. So shout out to them for going ahead and doing this. But this software we're looking at right here is actually Andro Media. Now this was an OS that was shell, uh, an OS shell and hardware for a smartphone size of a dual smartphone, a dual device smartphone. So obviously dual screens, just like this bad boy right here, the Surface Duo 1. And it was actually put on the Lumia 950. And you're going to see on the 950, it really does not work. And that's kind of what you expect out of this, right? Because it was not ever made for a single screen phone. But it's still interesting with what could have been, right? I said this many times, you know, we talk about Windows Contillium on this phone right here on the Surface Duo. And what could have been having the ability to really running a uh, Windows OS system off of this phone. And obviously, let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Enough dilly dallying around. Here is what it actually looks like. So as you guys can see, it's very similar, actually, starting off right away, just the lock screen aspect of it. And again, like I said, if you do own a Surface Duo, you already are familiar with that lock screen, that kind of peak lock screen, they call it, uh, right here, which again, same concept here. Now, once he unlocks his phone, this is when it gets kind of interesting. So starting off right away, we have our typical battery which actually looks more or less like a PC battery or a laptop battery, more or less than a phone battery. We, of course, do have our whatever connection, LTE, 5G, whatever. Obviously, the Lumen 950 not going to get 5G. On the bottom here, we have a camera icon, and we also have Cortana. Again, like I said, it's a Windows-based software, so it's a Windows-based OS. So it does have Cortana built in and automatically right there. And of course, if you click on Cortana, it will instantly bring up the ability to go ahead and ask any questions, just like your Windows PC will. Nothing different there, nothing special there. And I will say overall wise, would I like to have Cortana on this Surface 201? Would it really make that much of a difference? I'll be honest, in my opinion, probably not. I never use it on my PC. So would it be a nice replacement for, let's say, for example, Siri? It's possible, but I probably still would never use it. Again, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. But this does, of course, Cortana works with the actual whole entire device. And it really just combines with everything. Now, you're going to see in this video multiple times, nothing works on his phone because it's meant for a dual screen phone. So it's actually not sized correctly for a Lumium 950, which again, why it could never launch out with a Lumium 950 here. But it does work with him as you're going, being able to go ahead and pull it up. Now, I will say there are times and times I do use Siri to send a message to somebody, like a text message if I'm driving or something. So Cortana would be a cool concept, slash cool idea. And again, he does show right here. The cool thing about this Windows OS system is no matter where you are, what screen you are, no matter what, if you do have a Surface Pen, you can start writing straight on the Surface just like this. So you can see he's on his lock screen right here. Uh, he's going to go ahead and unlock it. And now he can actually start writing with his Surface Slim, Slim Pen. Just like right on the home screen without any hassle at all. And this is why, again, I said many times, why a lot of people love the Windows OS software. Because it's so optimized to being able to use it with your actual, like your Surface Pen. Anything when it comes to Windows. Everything is so connected. I will say Windows does a really good job. Microsoft does an amazing job at keeping the same type of, you know, ecosystem when it comes to Windows. All Windows stuff really, for the most part, works together very, very well. So I will say overall wise, it's really cool. I mean, Apple does a good job too. I'd say Google does a decent job. And then right here, of course, we have the notepad, the journal as it's called. Uh, as he's going through here, showing off that kind of stuff. Now, for the smartphone and gestures, this is where it really does interest me. Because I've said many times, I really do like different window simulators on the Surface Duo. Because I think they actually work out very, very well. And right here, he does have, of course, uh, bringing up the actual system right here. So you can see he does go ahead and has a, 
a little windows icon in the left hand corner he clicks on that and it brings up just like it would an actual taskbar for your computer right nothing crazy there and you can actually go ahead and see that it has everything a regular computer would have just like a regular pc so again like i said this was so cool on a surface duo one this would actually if they could have made this work properly and not have it buggy and glitchy this could be an actual true masterpiece it's really sad to see this got scrapped and i really will say coming from a really big fan of duo one and a duo two both of these phones i will say i think this could have been a really cool thing for both of these surface duo one and two but it's just sad that it did get scrapped because, again, I feel like it just took away so much when it came to that. Now, he is showing off the uh, the gestures of everything, how, how everything works, stuff like that. But it's just amazing how optimized this could have been. This could have been so, so, so optimized to work so perfectly. And this is what a picture, for example, of him showing off what could have been. I mean, it's sad because it got scrapped. Obviously, they couldn't make it work. And when you can't make it work, there's nothing you really can do if you're Microsoft. I mean, at the end of the day, if it's not working, it's not working. And this firm right here, the Duo One, got pushed and delayed so many times that they just had to get a product out there for people. I mean, it got to a point where everyone was like, oh, yeah, that's going to be that's scrapped, that's scrapped, that's scrapped. And to this point, I mean, we have two Duos out and we have no Surface Nexus, right? And that's another thing a lot of people were excited about getting was, of course, the Surface Nexus. And we never got the Surface Nexus because that was scrapped. It was actually shown in, I think, in Free Guy, I believe, with Ryan Reynolds. It was actually shown in that phone, I mean, in that movie, but it never actually came to light. And if you guys want to know what the Surface Nexus looks like, it's pretty much the Surface Duo, but bigger. It's bigger, it's better, and it has a lot more features than the Surface Duo. Again, like I said, I would love to see a Surface Nexus in real life. I'd love to see, you know, something running, like a Surface Duo running this. And is it possible we see the, you know, Surface Duo 3 running a Windows OS software? I will say no. The only reason why I say no on us ever getting a Windows-based software on um, with the Android Surface Duo 3 is because I feel like Microsoft is not going to be trying to prepare or is not trying to work on, you know, a Windows-based software. I think they're done with that. I think they're going to be really trying to kind of home in and perfect Android 12L on these two devices. And I think that's what they're going to be focusing on and caring about. They're not going to be caring about trying to get you know, a Windows-based software. I mean, it would be awesome. It would be a nice competitor with Samsung, especially if you get Windows Contillium. That would be a nice competitor to Samsung DeX. Uh, and then you, of course, do have a whole entire pretty much operating system off of your phone. And it would be so cool with the Surface Duo. I'm telling you right now, like just that picture he just showed right there, that gives you that gives me so many ideas. And so, it's just a cool concept. Let me see if I can find this uh, picture again. But it's just so many ideas, so many concepts that you could actually do with this. And I feel like it could just add so much more detail. I mean, imagine having that on a Surface on a Surface Zero One, even just a one. And you have obviously, you know, you have the whole entire PC pretty much left hand corner. Uh, you in the right hand corner, you have Cortana at all times you can use. It's just such a cool concept that, you know, it didn't happen. And that's just the end of the day. It didn't happen. But it's nice to relive that and what could have been. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.